Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. This morning I received an email from a lady who told me that chromatic aberration was the bane of her existence. Well, it shouldn't be. And in this video, I'm going to tell you the easiest way to deal with chromatic aberration in Lightroom. Before we begin, if you could do me a favor and subscribe to my YouTube channel and remember to click on that little bell so you get updates. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you know of anyone that would benefit from watching this video, please share it. And finally, follow me on Instagram. I am at Anthony Morganti on Instagram. And in the description below this video, I'll have a link to my Instagram. All right, this email I received, it made me chuckle a little bit because she mentioned that she took some beautiful images and her mom really loved one of the images. So she had a very large print made and she didn't notice it on her computer. But once the print was made, she saw that there was a lot of chromatic aberration and she called it the bane of her existence. And it kind of made me chuckle a little bit, but it's really easy to deal with chromatic aberration in Lightroom. Now you would go to the lens corrections tab and you probably know there is a checkbox here, remove chromatic aberration. Well, to tell you the honest God truth, nine times out of 10, that doesn't do a good enough job. And you really have to go over to manual. Now what you need to do is you need to zoom into the image where the chromatic aberration is. And you have to zoom in quite far off. And now I'm gonna zoom into uh, three to one. So we could see this little purple line here. This is the chromatic aberration. And as you could probably tell on your computer when you're initially working on the image, it's kind of hard to notice. But trust me, if you're gonna get this printed, particularly if you're gonna get a large print, you'll definitely notice it. So what you need to do is on your computer, zoom in, look for chromatic aberration. Once you find it, it's usually gonna be blue to purple to green, sometimes magenta, but usually on, at least for my lenses, my camera, it tends to be purple. Now I have this line here. So what you could do, as I mentioned, go to lens corrections, manual, get this eyedropper and simply click on the purple line. And you'll see that it removed most of it. There's a little bit more down here, but it, it did a pretty good job. Now we could still kind of develop this further. You'll see down here, there's a number of sliders. And when I used that eyedropper, it actually moved the top amount slider and the purple hue, these two sliders, it moved those two. Uh, let me reset this by double clicking on defringe. All right, see how they're reset now? And I'll get that eyedropper again, and I'll click on that purple line again, and you can see how it moved those three sliders. Now, amount in green didn't move at all because there isn't any green chromatic aberration in this area of the image. But we could refine this further. On this amount, hold in the Alt or Option key. It's Alt if you have a PC, Option if you have a Mac. When you click with the left mouse button, you'll see you'll get this kind of odd looking rendition of your image. And you can see that where that purple was is kind of a green line now. And if I move amount up, you'll see a lighter green area is kind of expanding away from that chromatic aberration area that is now represented by that green. What you want to do is you want amount to be just enough and you're not going to have any of that lighter green. So we want to bring amount down until that lighter green is pretty much gone. If we go too far the other way, then you'll see our purple is coming back. So we want that just gone. So you want to kind of fine tune it. Now, the chromatic aberration, unfortunately, isn't even. It's going to be maybe thicker in one area, thinner in another area. So sometimes you're going to have to find a happy medium. The other thing, though, sometimes the chromatic aberration isn't the same exact color, in this case, purple. It might be a little bit lighter purple in one area, a little bit darker purple in another area. And this is where this range comes in, where it says purple hue. You'll see there's the two sliders. And what we're actually doing is with the amount slider, we're affecting any chromatic aberration that is between these two sliders. Now, if we hold the Alt or Option key in again, again, that's Alt if you have a PC, Option if you have a Mac, 
and click on this left mouse button. You'll see now we have all this black. And if I move it about, you can see how now when I move it this way, that black totally disappeared. That means we're not affecting anything. That chromatic aberration is still there. So what you need to do is hold that alter option key in, click this left one, and bring it in so that you're affecting just the chromatic aberration. You can see how we, we're getting that kind of black come in. Now you don't want to go so far this way where it's starting to affect the sky as well. Although the effect will be subtle, it will affect the color overall. So you'd really prefer that it just affect the chromatic aberration and the rest of the colors minimally. Now you can see it, there is still a little purple here. So this is still kind of a trade-off. Sometimes you're going to end up affecting some of those other colors and there's nothing you could do about it. But what you would do, again, you would hold that alter option key in and you would move both of these sliders about and kind of try to zero in where that uh, chromatic aberration fringe is so that you're just hitting that and you're just obliterating that. Here, let's, let's reset. Let's start. So step one, use the eyedropper. Then step two, hold the alter option key in, press with the left mouse button and move this slider so that lighter green, I'm sorry, uh, goes away. And then step three is adjust these while holding the alter option key in so that you're just affecting the chromatic aberration and you're affecting the other colors minimally. And that hopefully will help you better deal with the bane of your existence, chromatic aberration. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.